Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Emil, and I have returned home after my mining. That's all the iron and gold I've collected, and there's our 10 diamonds. It wasn't 12, it was 10, I miscounted. It's that or I didn't pick up all my diamonds. But hey, that's fine. We do have our diamond pickaxe in here, and at the moment we are at level 23. What we want to get is, there is Unbreaking 3 available, which isn't what we are looking for. Do we have any books? I should have some books lying around in here somewhere. Okay, that's not really something for us to worry about now. Today what we are going to do is, we are going back into the nether. We're gonna go look for. We're just gonna go explore the nether fortress basically. Look for. We're not looking for anything. I was having a check just to see if I had any chests left over. But I don't, so I'll have to make another tier. So I'm sure I can just put it there and just throw everything extra in. I'm saying everything extra, I need those two things. I need the food. A water bucket won't help us in the nether, but the cobblestone might. Let's just take one cooked card with us. So we have iron armor that is on the verge of breaking, and I just found my books. Let's just see what we can get on a book. Unbreaking efficiency 2. Two levels, efficiency two. We don't want unbreaking on the thing, so we might as well take it and put this on a pickaxe. And we'll take the other pickaxe with us, just because if we can break one, we'll be fine. So now that I've done that, do I get fortune on the diamond one? Let's just take all my damaged pickaxes instead of leaving them there. No, but we do get efficiency four on the diamond pickaxe. Now what do we get on a book? Power four, power two, bane of arthropods. None of those are really helpful, like right now. I think we need to make an anvil, so we need to make three of these. And that is it, that is an anvil. And not put it in the offhand, put it there. And combine those two. So we have our normal pickaxes and we have an efficiency one we have a sword and i think with that we are ready to go into the nether but just in case something happens i need a flint and steel which i should have somewhere in here one day these chests will be really organized and that'll be the day I'm really happy but for that we need to collect all the material to move home. Make a bow and arrow. It's, it's three string I believe. Just use one of them. It should be like that. Nope! Other way. And that is a bow for us to use. We can head into the nether. We saw the nether fortress, which is actually really close to us. Let's try something quickly. Efficiency does go through that quite a lot quicker. I mean, that's much help. That's quite a bit more helpful. But what we do want to do is we want to get fortune. Because as nice as collecting quartz is, like for XP, we also need it as a material, so mining all of it now wouldn't be a good idea. Because then I'd have to go further looking for it, and if it's right by my nether portal, it'll be easier for me. So I think with that I'm just going to leave everything that's here. And the other one that we saw was here. So, I'm just gonna take a good screenshot of my coordinates, and this is what we were. We thought it was. I just wanna hit it once. Alright, that is it. We 
killed it and we get the return to send it. Accomplishment. Which works perfectly for us. And while we're down here we can just grab some XP. <coughs> oh wow. And we've made another advancement. A terrible fortress. Is there anything down here for us to get into? No. So everything is on top in this fortress. There doesn't seem to be any inside so far. Spawner plays. I'm guessing up here is just a uh, dead end. And through this way is what? Another dead end. Love that. So, which way did we come from? I'm actually not sure where we came from, but I'm just gonna go back this way. Okay, that is another spawner. So I'm just gonna put these down to like make sure I know where I am. So this guy's attacking me with a skeleton attacking me. Could I get lucky and get a wither skull? leads to nothing. I don't think there's an inside to any of these parts. It is a spawner we are not gonna go near for now. <laughs> kind of want to survive and not be burnt to death. In that was not me. I didn't do that. This is not me. Killed it at least. Take aim, advancement made, and with that we've gotten a ghast tier. Nothing to complain about there. This is just a normal skeleton. You are not cared for in here. Let's head up here and see if there's anything interesting that we could get. Uh, no, there's nothing. So disappointing. I'm sure we can just fall from here quickly. And run across. Let me eat my raw clock. Okay, so it is the same f nether fortress, but it's slightly disconnected. Meaning, I should be able to go through there and get across because it is completely connected through there. So let us go for it. Have a quick run through. You are bothering me. Please die. Thank you for your help. It's a magma slime. And uh, now it's dead. And with that, we found some lovely nether wart reason to do things because I'm there okay goes up to outside and then down let's just see what's in here because this goes down and then we'll go back up and we found more I'd say I shouldn't take all of it but there's no harm in me taking all of it it's not like there's anyone else here that's gonna need it, so hey. More for me, I can grow a bigger... I can like actually start a bigger farm of it then, and have nothing to worry about. The only issue we might have here is that if I die, I lose all of it. And then we'll have to find another nether fortress just run through here and see if there's anything we want. There's a chest. More nether wart and diamond horse armor. We'll take the diamond horse armor. 
for when I finally get my horse, once I get a saddle. But we don't have either. So we'll just leave it for now. So, okay. The staircase brings us to here. Which, there's another chest there. So we'll just... Oh, wow. Okay, let's watch our step. <laughs> and with that, with what I was saying, we finally have some saddles. And we found some gold armor and iron horse armor. I mean, we'll take all of it. Uh, I don't really need all of it, but we'll take it. We can, use, we can just make like, armor stands covered in gold armor and other armor just for the fun of it. What is up here? I feel like there's gonna be nothing up here. It's just like a random piece. Oh wow, random piece, amazing. Okay, let us go back to where we were. And I think we were, we came up through there. So let's just head back down here. Let's go up the other staircase because I think it might take us somewhere. This one. This is the one we wanted to go up. So this takes us up to take us back down. I mean, this is... Is this another one? Or is this the same one you just enter from a different side? It is a different one, we get more gold, gold horse armor, flint and steel, and a third saddle. I mean, now we can actually get horses and breed them. A fourth saddle, more diamond horse armor, and a gold chest plate. And the only thing missing now is if we could get a wither skull just before we leave. I mean, there'll be no complaints from that, otherwise we'll have to do a whole episode of grinding those out. With a looting sword. Okay, then I guess with that, I'm gonna leave it here. Oh wow, big man fell off. I'm sure you guys don't want to see me running all the way back home. So I think I can leave it there. With found a lot of stuff in the nether fortress we got a gas tier which i think is used for brewing potions and we've got a lot of diamond horse armor and saddles meaning we can start getting horses and breeding them which is amazing love that so yeah with that thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed this episode leave a like comment on ways I can improve my videos and subscribe if you did enjoy or if you are new to the channel just subscribe thank you for watching